Hello, this is Walt McCarthy. We are on our final session, session 3032. And this will just be a, a kind of a summary of what a rated shelter is. We're going to be talking about what actually should be supplied with any shelter that's manufactured, or even if it's built. But this is a shelter rating summary sheet, or SRS. Every shelter that is sold or manufactured, even if you do it yourself, should have these basic things on it. They should tell you how they're getting the air in, what the miles per hour that of that air manifold is uh, based on. They should tell you the size and the net opening of the hatch, what its PSI is rating is. It should tell you how it controls uh, overpressure. It should tell you the design pressure for the shelter. It should tell you the distance from ground zero based on a certain size weapon. Um, radiation doses overhead, radiation doses in the entranceway, air filtration, um, all these things, pounds per hundred, uh, pounds of tetracarbon per hundred CFM, um, all these should, should be in your operator's manual somewhere. Uh, what type of shielding they have, if it's deployable, if it has concrete, it's not deployable. Um, whether it's a shelter type with military, commercial, civilian, headroom, the percent uh, efficiency, in other words, how much of the floor space is taken up by equipment and finally the corrosion protection what it has in there for corrosion protection and what it's based on warranty is certainly going to be directly related to that corrosion protection warranty is a real issue it's it's um, it's, it's real because the underground shelter industry except for tornadoes uh, is not regulated a lot of really bad things are happening um, so when you're looking at a shelter, you should be asking, what's the design overpressure? What's the water resistance? Is there, a, is there a, a pump on there? Is there a pump in the shelter somewhere that you can activate to pump water out if something happens? This is from ground zero, the size of the weapon that it's based on, the radiation design dose, the TRS rating, total rims and shelter from all the sources, um, protections, uh, corrosion protection system. Do they give you certs for the tetacarbon? Is it really tetacarbon? And what is the residence time? And it should have an operator's manual, a very detailed operator's manual. The problem in the industry is there are, there are warranties for workmanship and materials, and it's not a warranty. If the shelter fails due to poor engineering, it's not covered. If the shelter fails due to corrosion, it's not covered. And the judgment for workmanship and materials is made by the manufacturer. So this is what you want to watch out for. This is a performance warranty. When you have a performance warranty in there, it's giving you all, it's telling you what the performance of the shelter is. And it's absolutely critical. The difference between a really well-designed shelter and a really poorly designed shelter is probably 10, 15, maybe 20%. So these are, these are two things, performance warranty and no warranty. There should be an operator's manual that tells you everything about the shelter, and it should include this. I have over 100 items when I write uh, commercial um, operator's manuals for an underground shelter, but these are some of the basics. If you don't get this with, with a shelter, then the manufacturer doesn't understand the shelter, and you go somewhere else. So this is really critical. This tells you that, that the shelter was properly thought out.